Today I'm going to talk to you about how to plot the sun's path uh, on a solar path grid. In order to understand this, there are two vocabulary words you need to know. The first is altitude. When you're looking at the sun's path or any object in the sky, the altitude is the object's distance up from the horizon, and it's always measured in an angle. So zero degrees is the angle of the horizon itself, and if the object is directly overhead, then it's going to be at a 90 degree. That's as high as you can go, and that's if the object is directly overhead. The other term you have to understand is azimuth. The azimuth of an object is its location around the horizon that's measured as a degree, but it's also referenced to a compass rose direction. So if you look at this picture down here, the azimuth shows that at zero degrees, your object is due north in the sky. And as you move clockwise around this grid, you can see that if the object is due east in the sky, that would be 90 degrees, due south is 180, and due west is 270. And then you have all of the different numbers in between. So if you know the altitude, how high from the horizon the object is in the sky, and if you know the azimuth, its compass direction around a 360 degree circle, then you can track and plot the sun's path on a grid. In order to find the azimuth, a very easy way to do that is to use a compass, like you see here on my phone. As I turn and point in the direction of the object, you can see that down here is the angle at which the object is located. So if I were outside and I turned to look not directly at the sun, but the sun's position in the sky, then I would know the azimuth of that object. And again, knowing these two numbers is going to allow you to chart the sun's path across the sky or any object's path across the sky at any given time.